If you saw my video on Hale Village, you'll know that I said I would return and take some photographs of Hale Lighthouse. So I've been waiting for a really good day to actually go down there, and today looks like the day. This is my third trip to come and photograph Hale Lighthouse. The first time I set off it rained, and the second time it was a little bit too sunny. I see the subject as looking good if it's pretty overcast, and although today is bright, we have some really nice clouds in the sky. There are many videos on YouTube talking about how to take better photographs or simply giving photography tips. It's difficult to think of something unique, but today I'm going to talk a little bit about composition. So we're just driving past Liverpool Airport and as you can see, someone's off on their holidays. Hale Village is a pretty picturesque place to live. The downside is it's on Liverpool Airport's flight path. Planes landing, planes taking off, it can be quite noisy. I guess if you live there, you get used to it. We're just about to leave Speak, and also we're at the boundary of Liverpool. Hale Village is in Halton, and uh, we're not far from the border now. My plan is to park somewhere near St Mary's Church in Hale Village and then I'm going to complete the journey by foot. It's not far, it's about a 20 minute walk from the church to the lighthouse and I'm going to guess there's going to be plenty of dog walkers around as well. Even though it's mid-November, there's plenty of colour in the trees still. From memory, it seems a little bit late. Usually by September, October, we're getting these colours in the trees but this year they seem to have stayed green for a lot longer. Perhaps it's because we had a very wet summer. As I said a couple of minutes ago, we're going to be looking at composition in a photograph. Composition is a really strong element in any nice photograph. We're also going to look at how we can control light, because today, although it's cloudy, it's very sunny and I want these photographs to look dramatic and moody. Today for these photographs I am going to be using a Nikon DSLR. Apart from the amount of light coming into the camera today, I also need to concentrate on what's actually in focus. With any landscape photography that's an important aspect. So today I'm going to be using the camera in aperture priority which basically means I choose the aperture and I let the camera choose the shutter speed. I'm making the right turn now into Hale Village and on the right hand side you'll see the Child of Hale pub. It's a nice place to come and have a meal and have a drink and it's also a good place to park your car if you want to go for a walk. Talking of the Child of Hale, John Middleton, that was once his cottage on the right hand side. On the left is 9 foot 3 statue and we're coming up to St Mary's Church where he's buried.
OK, I've managed to find a nice parking spot just opposite the church as I planned and from here I'm going to take the rest of the journey by foot. It's pretty cold today, the people I've seen taking dogs for walks seem to be pretty well wrapped up as I am and it's also a little bit windy and I guess you can hear that in the microphones. Uh, microphones tend to find wind even when there isn't any wind so today they found some. This is going to be about a 15 minute walk maybe a little bit more. I'm not going to film it all I will film some of it just so that you can see which direction I'm heading in just in case you want to come out to hail and do the same thing I'm doing today. Further up this road is the pathway which we will take to walk down to the lighthouse. It's got a gate on it and also there's a police notice warning you against parking cars there because cars have been broken into and had the windows broken. When you get here you'll realise that some people don't take any notice of it and actually park there anyway. But for me, I've parked at the church and made the walk. It's up to you, it's your car, but uh, it's a little tip for you. This is the gate I mentioned and now we're going to take the pathway down to the lighthouse. You can see the lighthouse directly in front of you on the banks of the River Mersey. The lighthouse is officially known as Hale Head Lighthouse. It's now a private residence. It was decommissioned as a lighthouse in 1945. It's been quite some time since I last came here to photograph this lighthouse. That was back in the days of film. It was possibly the early 1980s or even the late 1970s. I'm almost there now and as you get closer to the banks of the Mersey the stronger the wind gets. It's really windy down here today. I find this clump of trees quite interesting, so I think I will take photographs of this area and also the lighthouse. I think one of the mistakes that beginner photographers make is when they're photographing a subject, they always put the subject in the middle of the frame. So my intention today is to photograph the lighthouse not in the middle of the photographic frame, but to the left hand side. This way, when you look at the river, your eye will be led towards the lighthouse and it makes a more interesting composition. I'm going to use an 18mm wide angle lens to do this shot as I want to get as much sky into the photograph as I possibly can. So, after much thought, this is the shot that I'm going to go for. I took half a dozen shots of the lighthouse using different exposures. This one was my favourite. It seems to capture the drama of the sky a little bit more than the others. All photographers have their own unique style. It's what makes us all different. I like to pump the colours in Photoshop and here you can see that the colours are really vivid. Here are a couple more shots of the lighthouse taken that day. The one which is closer was taken with a 200mm telephoto lens. And finally the line of trees which I mentioned. You can see John Lennon Airport in the background. It looks slightly misty. I've altered the colours in Photoshop. I've gone for a slightly blue cast just to make the day look a little bit more dramatic and a little colder. Thank you for watching and we'll catch up soon.